Hi everybody, my name is Sebastian and I am working as an application engineer at MathWorks. My presentation is about C code generation and C code integration directly from MATLAB and Simulink to interact with an external C -sharp interface. Here, on the left hand side, you can see this parking meter C -sharp interface that has no intelligence at all. And on the right hand side, you can see a flowchart representing the algorithm that will control this interface. So if we get a look on how this works, first we need to click on the green button in order to start the purchase of a ticket. And then we need to add coins to the system. If you want to cancel the purchase, we can just click on the red button. After that, I can retry it add the right amount of money to pay a ticket and once the process is done i will get a ticket plus the cash back to switch off this interface there is just a need to click on the master switch now what has been done in matlab to get this working as you can see here on the right hand side we have several files that belongs to the project in MATLAB and they are also especially in the middle specific C files that are there to set up the interface with the registers that are part of the C sharp interface. Here we have specific C functions in order to read data as well as to write data to the register. In the upper left corner you can also see a main menu that is there to do specific unit testing on the peripherals of this C sharp interface. In Simulink the idea is the same, except that this time we run a concurrent execution of the model to control the C-sharp interface. And this is done via the scheduler that is implemented with this state machine. And we have several algorithms like at the bottom that are there to write to registers. And we have also specific algorithms that are there to read data from registers. Here is a schematic of this parking meter and the main challenge to overcome now is how can we set up the communication between the program that is developed in MATLAB and Simulink and the external c -sharp interface. To do this, a shared memory area mechanism has been put in place and if we get a look to this diagram, you can see that first we have the program in C that is derived from a MATLAB or Simulink representation that is implemented and then this will communicate with the shared memory area that will implement the registers that are emulated in the c -sharp interface and then we have the c -sharp interface itself. How this has been done now in MATLAB, what was needed to do in MATLAB was to create this shared memory interface and this code is OS dependent that means now it is working only on the Windows and also I had to create the low level C sharp functions in order to communicate with this C sharp interface and this is how it looks like in MATLAB with the MEX wrapper interface. For Simulink, it is the same, except that this time we will use an S function or the C color block. And for the C color block, it looks like this. You just need to provide the header file and you need to provide your main C file to the C color and then it will set up the interface for you. So now, where can you find this demo? Everything is available on File Exchange. You can download it and use it directly. There is also uh, some improvements that are added release after release directly uh, onto the File Exchange submission. And also there is some documentation so that it is easy to understand how the demo is working and how it can be used. Thank you for having taken the time to look at this video.